Hi there and welcome, I'm Jackson Felden. Today I want to show how you can control the conflicts between Grow policies in Intune. It's good to remind you by default Grow policy always take preference in case of conflicts and initially I want to show how you can get a report just to double check what's the current configuration on your environment and then how you can build an Intune policy to make sure Intune takes preference in case of conflicts. Anyway, let me show all the steps. Okay, first I want to show how you can get a quick report to double check who is winning, if it's Intune or Grow policy. Uh, to do that, let me dive into my virtual machine and then I just click here on the start. Let me go to settings. Then I need to go over the accounts. Finally, access work or school. And then, yeah, this machine is joined to the Azure AD. Just let me go quickly into the info. And then the place to go is this guy here. Okay, create a report. Let me just do a, a quick zoom. Okay, create a report. Okay, let me push the button. And yeah, make sure when the report is done, you go over the C users, public documents, and then diagnostics in order to find out the, the message. Okay, let me just click on report and then export. Okay, that's done. Now, just to buy a bit of time, I have the folder here already open. Okay, over C, public documents, MDM, diagnostic. And here's the report I'm looking for. Okay, double click on that. Of course, now there's huge amount of information in here. What I'm really looking for is the MDM wins. And what I need to point out, yeah, right now I haven't changed, you know, this configuration. And then as you can see, when it comes to the conflict, MDM over, uh, MDM wins over GP means the value at the moment is zero. It means grow policy takes preference. Okay. Any, any conflict on any configuration, grow policy will take preference. Okay. Let's say I have moved, I've been moving all my infrastructure to the cloud and now is the right time for me to make sure Intune takes preference in case of conflicts. Okay. Let me show now the step-by-step -step how to build the policy, how to apply over my devices. And then later I will run a new report. And then of course the goal is to get this zero to change to one. And that means the MDM or Intune will take preference. Okay. That's done. Now the next step is, let me just borrow here, basically in order to, to build the policy I'm looking for, I'm going to create a custom policy based on the OMA URI, and then the line I need is this one here, okay, and then, you know, at the end is MDM wins over grow policy. Okay, I will make sure I have this line on the description of this video, you can just copy, you know, from there. Okay, let's go in. Now, okay, let me go over my Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. And then if you've never done any, let's say, policies on the MDM, just go over Devices. And here, go on Configuration Profiles, click in there. Yeah, I've, you know, I've been building a couple of configuration here. Make sure you click on the Create Profile, click in there. In my case, I'm using Windows 10, okay? And then let me select Windows 10 and later. And now the kind of the critical part in here, we, let's say the easiest place to go is select templates and then make sure is custom. Okay, this is the guy I'm looking for. Okay, click on create. Okay, whatever the name you, you want, let me just stick with the standard. Okay, MDM, uh, let's say wins over, GPO, of course, really, you know, doesn't matter. And let me just keep kind of, you know, my good standard. This is for Windows 10 I'm looking for. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Now click on next. And here is the place where I finally need to add that string. Click on add. The name really kind of, you know, doesn't matter. Let me just stick with the, the same. MDM uh, wins over GPO. And then, of course, the most important is in here. Okay, let me just double check. I have all that line. MDM wins over GP. That's fine. And then in here, I need to select this one here, integer. And let me, uh, sorry, let me just do a bit of uh, zoom in here. 
Okay, yeah, this is the configuration, okay, you are looking for. Just copy and paste from the video comments, the string, and then in here, okay, the, uh, let me just click and save edit. No, click on cancel, sorry about that. Okay, and then here, make sure is one, okay? That will make Intune basically to take preference. That's pretty much it. Now let me click on save, and then eventually next and basically now is the time where you can assign to all users all computers but in my case let's say i'm just implementing this configuration department by department don't want to apply to everybody yeah no problem let me click on add group and right now i'm targeting my users from the operations department click on that and then click on select finally next and then next that's pretty much it okay one more time yeah that's the the winning configuration there i have a sign at the moment only for my operations group and then finally click on create okay now probably as you already know it takes a bit of uh, takes a bit of time in order for the synchronization to be you know to, to happen in for basically the devices to pull this configuration there to buy a bit of time, what I can do, I always can, let me show you the, the, the you know, two ways to force a synchronization. Option one, from the uh, MDM, let's say portal, I can come here and then select my all devices. And then I'm looking for my device uh, 21. And then if I click in there, I can force the synchronization from here. Just, you know, push this button and that's pretty much it. Okay, eventually, if you want to, let's say, force a synchronization from the end user side, you know, let's say from the device, let me now go back to my virtual machine. And then basically is the place I just was there before. Okay, settings, well, let me just close and open again. Okay, in here, and then settings, and then let me go back to accounts, and then eventually access work and school. Yeah, here is the connection I have between this device and my tenant. Click in there, click on info, and then here, yeah, there you go. That's the, you know, the place I can now force a synchronization from my device to, you know, make sure all the fresh and new configuration from Intune now will basically be deployed for this device. I need to wait a couple of seconds in order to get that ready, and then finally, I can generate again the report and then hopefully get that value change from zero to one. And that means the, uh, that means basically Intune will take preference in case of conflicts. It might be a little bit, you know, early for me to check, but anyway, let, let, let me go straight away. Let me click on uh, create report. Okay. Click on export. That's fine. Now let me go back to that quick report. Yeah, the time is right. Double click. And now again, let me MDM wins if I have good memory. Yeah, it hasn't changed yet. Okay, uh, yeah, as you can see, Intune sometimes you know, takes, a, takes a bit of time. But anyway, let, let me just pause the video for a while, give a, give a bit of time to, uh, to allow the synchronization, and then I will come back and show the final result in a few, hopefully in a few minutes. Okay, a few minutes have passed now. Uh, let me double check the deployment. If I go back on my MDM wins over GPO, if I click in here and then click over device status. Uh, yeah, there you go. This is the good news I was waiting. It means the deployment was done successfully. Now, finally, I can go back to my virtual machine. And then if I run that report, let me click on create report, click on export. Okay, that's fine. Now, finally, let me double check, double click in here. Let me quickly find, uh, what's the name? MDM wins over, yeah, there you go. Anyway, yeah, good news. Now I can see the MDM wins over GP. Uh, this is the default value. If I just scroll up a little bit, yeah, as you can see, and here is the new one, or let's say the current value. If I go here, means, yeah, one. Okay, that's the kind of, the good news, it means now 
if this device belongs to a domain control, a local domain controller, and is getting configuration from Grow Policy and getting configuration from Intune as well, it means the Intune will always overwrite or will kind of you know take preference over any conflicts between Grow Policies and Intune. Okay, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and is walking away with a new knowledge as well. And if you like this video, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel, and hopefully I will see you again. Thanks very much. See you. Stay safe.